Well, you can look out and see what's going on and look at the Bible and see that the Bible is beginning to unfold right in front of us. We are in the days of Noah where Jesus said that men in the last days, they, they would be distracted. They wouldn't recognize what is going on. In the days of Noah, men were eating and drinking and marrying and giving into marriage. And they did not know that a flood was coming. They wasn't paying attention. They wasn't listening to Noah preach. The Bible says Noah was a preacher of righteousness. That means he was preaching holiness. That means he was preaching righteousness. He was a preacher of righteousness, the Bible says. And he was mocked and he was ridiculed because he preached righteousness. And the Bible says that men, they were eating and drinking. They was doing their ordinary thing, living life, and they did not know until the flood came and took them all away. And Jesus said that it would be like that in the last days. And you see this when you go out into the world and talk to people about Jesus. You see this when you go out into the streets and you preach and you witness for the Lord. Men's hearts are full of hatred. The Bible says that in the days of Noah, that men's hearts were evil continually and the earth was full of violence. That's what the Bible says in Genesis chapter 6 when it talks about the days of Noah. And when you look out right now, men are full of hatred. You go into the streets, men are full of cussing. They blaspheme. They have a hatred for God. The Bible says that their hearts in the last days, that it would grow cold, that their love would grow cold because of lawlessness. And this is where we at, my friends. The Bible prophecies are coming to pass. All you have to do is look at the Bible and use it as a means to gauge things. The Bible says that there would be perilous times in the last days. Perilous times, the Bible says, that men would be God haters. They would be murderers. They would be boasters, proud, blasphemers, murderers, manslayers, the Bible says. That they would be lovers of pleasure rather than lovers of God, having a form of godliness, denying the power. And this is what you see. There is a moral collapse in the structure of society everything is immoral right now the music is immoral the television stations is immoral the conversations that come out of people's mouth is immoral because their hearts are immo immoral we are in a time where society has dived in to dark immorality just like the Bible says and it has made its way into the church the church has backslidden and it has fallen in to a place of lukewarmness and the Bible says that perilous times men would have a form of godliness but they would deny the power it's talking about church people it's talking about people who profess the name of the Lord Jesus Christ that they would have a form of godliness. They would say, Jesus, Jesus, but they would live in the darkness. They would say, Jesus, Jesus, but they have no commitment to Christ. They would say, Jesus, Jesus, and all it would be would be dead religion. That's it. And you see this when you go out there and talk to people. You see this when you go out there and you witness for the Lord. We are moving into a dark hour. We are moving into the times of Sodom and Gomorrah, where the spirit of sodomy has sodomized the nations. And all you got to do is look at the Bible and use it as a means to gauge what's going on. A dark hour is coming and we need to be ready for the battle. A dark hour is coming and we need to be established in Jesus. This is the time to be real with God. This is the time to stop playing games with the Lord. This is the time to stop straddling the fence 
and holding hands with the devil and saying that you are Christian while you're playing in the darkness. This is the time to get all those loose ends tightened up in Christ because we are moving into some shaky times and there's going to be a shaking that's coming. And if I can preach in a way that will open somebody's eyes to get them ready, that's what I want to do. I don't care if it's just one person. I just want to preach in such a way that your eyes will be open, that you would be ready for the battle and that you wouldn't be holding on to the darkness, that you would be living holy because without holiness, you won't be able to stand. If you are practicing iniquity, if you are practicing the darkness, you won't be strong to handle the battle because there's going to be a lot of pressure that's going to come in these last days. And the pressure is going to be a means to try to break the spirit of the people. And we have to be strong in the Lord in the power of His might so that we can withstand the onslaught of the devil. Because the Bible says that the system that's going to rise in these last days is going to make war against the saints. They're going to make war against Christians. And we have to be strong in the Lord, in the power of His might. This is the only way that we're going to be able to withstand the onslaughts of the devil. It's not by might nor by power, but by my spirit, says the Lord of hosts. We have to be strong in the Spirit of God. We have to be strong in our faithfulness to Christ because it's God that is able to keep us from stumbling and to present us faultless before His presence. Hallelujah to the Lamb of God. He is faithful, yet we must be faithful to the Lord. We must be faithful to obey the Lord Jesus Christ. God wants us to obey Him. God wants us to be obedient. Ready yourselves for the battle that's coming, Christians. We are moving into the last days. We are moving into the dark hour. And I plead with you to open your eyes and look out and see what's going on. Open up your eyes. Wake up if you are sleeping. God is saying, wake up. He's saying, wake up, oh sleeper, wake up. Put you some eye salve on your eyes so that you can see what's going on. There should be an urgency in the church right now to preach and, and blow the trumpet and sound the alarm. Yet the church has been rocked to sleep by prosperity and comfortability in the nation of America. And I believe God's going to send a wake up call and he's going to use some uncomfortable situations to come upon the nations in order to shake his church because his church is asleep right now. Wake up, sleepy Christian. Wake up and ready yourself for the battle. Be blessed today. And if you are being faithful to the Lord, keep being faithful. If you don't know Jesus, get right with God. Repent and come to the Lord. Humble yourself. Turn away from the world. Turn to Jesus with all your heart. Believe in the gospel. Confess your faults to the Lord and get real with him. God is great in mercy. He is deep in compassion. And He wants sinners to come to the salvation grace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be blessed today in Jesus' mighty name.